Welcome back. Now, if you remember when I introduced the idea of kinetics and wrote the rate law expression, I gave you three unique units for the three types of reactions that we can encounter. There's more, but for the purpose of this class, we're going to stick with first, second, and zero order. Okay. Now, the unit for the rate constant is kind of a giveaway, whether it's second inverse or minute inverse, as long as you don't see a m minus one or m, I'll explain that in just a second. But the first order of uh, thing we're gonna look at is first order. Now, you do not have to memorize this equation. This will be given to you. Now, how to use the equation is the big question, because so I can give you this. Okay, a lot of the time the question also contains the word first order. So in this case, we're going to solve this problem. Okay, but say I didn't give you the word words first order, but I will give you the k value. If you see that second inverse, minute inverse, hour inverse, it doesn't matter. It's a time inverse, right? So you don't see a m minus one, so it's minute inverse. So that should be first order, but I've made life a little easier by actually stating the reaction is first order. So what is this question telling you? The first order rate constant is this. So we know K value for cisplatin. Cisplatin, I believe is platinum dichlorodiamino. Uh, I think that's what that is. It's been a while. I have to refresh my inorganic chemistry, but cisplatin, this is a reaction. And if the concentration of cisplatin at start was this molar, what is the concentration after 24 hours? So what do we know in this expression that's already present in this equation? Well, we certainly know K is 1.87 e to the negative three minute inverse. We certainly, and zero stands for at start. So we certainly know A zero is 4.73 e to the negative 4 molar. What we need to find is AT, which is concentration at a particular time. We do know time is T, which is 24 hours. Now, there's a problem. If you're going to multiply K and T together, they should both have the same unit. Now, K is in minutes. T is in hours. So you got to convert hours to minutes or minutes to hours. It's easy to do this. So 24 hours, right? Over one, an hour contains 60 minutes. And that's it. So that'll be 24 times 60 is 1,440 minutes. That's what we have for a single day. Right, so let's go ahead and solve the problem. So natural log of AT equals natural log of A0, which is 4.73 e to the negative four minus K value is 1.87 e to the negative three times 1440. Okay, so that'll be natural log of 4.75 e to the negative 4 is negative 7.6 minus this whole thing, 1.87 e to the negative 3 times 1440. So that's about 2.69. So the total will be Basically, you have negative of negative, so it'll be plus, but then you still retain the negative sign, so 7.6 plus 2.69 is negative 10.29. That's natural log of AT. I suppose this now brings you back how to do this. AT would be 10 e to the negative minus 10.29. So that'll be second natural log of negative. 10.29, it's 3.4 e to the negative five. 
Now, if it's very important, this is kind of, there's a checkpoint here to see if you did the problem right. That is, your end concentration should always be less than what you start with because you're losing reactant. Remember, your cisplatin is your reactant. You're going to lose it over 24 hours, which is a good thing because it means it's reacting with the tissue it's supposed to react with. Here it's negative 4. Here it's negative 5. It's gone down one full fold, though. So this value is smaller. The more negative, it's smaller. So that means um, we've done the problem right. It's very good. So this is a first order reaction problem. As I said, you do not have to remember this equation. And the equation normally will, the question normally gives you enough information. If it's not specifically telling you first order, then you have to use the unit for rate constant. Of course, I will test you this through homework before I get you on it then. All right, so that's first order. Stay tuned for second and zero order.